welcome to Sam Rollins, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Austin, how are you doing tonight? Yeah. yeah! It's been a big week going on in the news. Uh, I read that Donald Trump is running for president. Don okay, hang on. Okay. No. Donald Trump, Donald Trump is the white Al Sharpton. Don't shoot me, man. Donald Trump is Nancy Grace with a little bit better hair. I can't believe that's the Republican front runner. Uh, my name is Sam Mines. Uh, I know you're looking on stage. Uh, you're like, oh, cool, a black comedian, but I'm not. I actually I represent a, a subgroup called the uh, New Black. <laughs> Some of you don't know what that is. I don't like me. Uh, I'm so new black, I could win a Brad Paisley karaoke contest. <laughs> I'm so new black, I could win a supporting cast of Gilmore Girls. <laughs> I'm so new black, I voted for Obama the first time, but Romney the second time. I'm, uh, I'm so new black, I have a George Bush tank top that I wear specifically to raise. I'm so new black, I know what a raid is. Uh, Jeb Bush was talking recently about uh, all this controversy with the Confederate flag, and he reminded us of the time when he was uh, governor of Florida that he took down the Confederate flag, stating that She's staring at me like she really likes the Confederate flag. That's just getting hot. He was, uh, probably, he, he was governor of the Confederate flag. He took it down saying that uh, it deserved to be remembered in a museum. It's funny because that's what a lot of people say about the Bush for President campaign stickers. Ooh. Wow, this crowd had their parents pay for school themselves, I see. Yes, thank you. Uh, so I was reading the Bible the other day. Uh, you think Jesus ever got, uh, or you think the disciples ever got really annoyed with Jesus? I got understand he came down, he gave him a job, he like, died for the sins and everything, but he could, he could be a little pretentious, you know, he could be a little, show, hang on, a little show off. Like, uh, I don't know if you know the story of the woman, the Samaritan woman at the well, but uh, the disciples had gone to town to get Jesus to dinner. And uh, Jesus talked to his woman at the well. And uh, when they came back to dinner, they thought, hey, Jesus, we brought some food, eat up. He looked at me and said, uh, I do not need your food, for I have food that you know not of. And he's talking about like, the Holy Spirit and all that. But if I was a disciple, I would have been like, yeah, that's great, Jesus, but we kind of already bought this food. <laughs> you know, we got the steaks, and uh, we can't really refrigerate them. <laughs> Because it's BC, DC, I guess. Um, um, my my church is uh, doing this uh, thing called Family Feud for Freshmen. They've got all the members of the church filling out uh, these surveys for the freshman community town hall. You know, like a list of disciple of the twelve or name a profession in the Bible. And uh, they stopped letting me fill out those surveys because I'd always put Judas for the disciple and uh, prostitute for the occupation. It was a real job. He's the same with them. I don't know what the big deal is. Uh, my parents hate that joke. Uh, <laughs> so Father's Day just happened. Uh, clap it to your father. My kind of crowd. Clap if uh, you blocked a bunch of girls' numbers on Sunday so you wouldn't find out you were a father. <laughs> now we're talking. My uh, father's uh, I'm not ready to be a father. And uh, I know that because I wouldn't be able to give my son you know, the talk of the birds and bees. And the reason is because I never really got the talk. I got like a version of it, but I was way too young for it. And the reason I got it was because uh, we were on the playground with me and my brother. And this kid, uh, dropped his drawers in front of everybody. Yeah, and uh, so the school sent home notice about that, like, hey, some kid exposed himself, talk to your children. And so my dad was like really awkward about it. He's like, hey, guys, uh, don't drop your drawers on the playground. Also wear a condom. <laughs> I'm eight. So dad, what's a condom? It doesn't matter, just wear it. Now get out of here, Bill O'Reilly's coming on. Uh, <laughs> I got a lot of funny stories about my dad. My dad is actually completely blind. Both of my parents are, and they can't see at all. And uh, it, it really, he got uncomfortable at times. Like, uh, my dad and I went to a movie, 
uh, went to see Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. You don't know awkward until you have to describe Girl with the Dragon Tattoo to your blind father. You just hear this, uh, this uncomfortable just screaming and yelling. He's like, well, what, what's going on? Dad, I don't know what to say. I paid $12 to listen to this movie saying, what's going on? Well, Dad, you know uh, the thing you told us not to do on the playground? <laughs> well, he did it three scenes ago, and now she's getting her revenge. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm Sam Lyons. You can follow me on Twitter at Wu-Tang Sammy. Don't forget to be at the Dad's Hill.